Jesus Revolution movie follows Greg Laurie's path to finding faith, everybody needs Jesus. Harvest Christian Fellowship Pastor and Jesus Revolution CEO author Greg Laurie says the timing of the spiritual movie is crucial as the CDC reports one in three girls seriously contemplated suicide. The second Sunday of Lent is observed by the faithful all over the world on Sunday, March 5, 2023. This special day in the faith calendar is a time to slow down and consider God's blessings, a Washington-based pastor told Fox News Digital. Blessings are the evidence of the grace of God. His word is saturated with blessings, said Pastor Jesse Bradley of Grace Community Church in Auburn, Washington. First Sunday of Lent, the time is not just for penance but for God's abundant mercy, says faith leader. In the book of Genesis, Abraham cultivated the habit of listening to God, said Bradley. And this is what he heard, I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you I will curse, and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you, Genesis 12 3. Bradley continued, the greatest blessings from God are often unexpected and he said Abraham is an excellent illustration of this point. Some of God's greatest blessings, including those that Abraham experienced, were completely unexpected, said Pastor Jesse Bradley. Some of God's greatest blessings, including those that Abraham experienced, were completely unexpected, said Pastor Jesse Bradley. Boonchai Vedme Kawand via Getty Images It is not typically considered a blessing to have to leave your people, your region and your comfort zone at age 75, said Bradley. It's not a common path to become a father as you complete a century of living, and your infant boy is teething as your number of years sits in triple digits, he added. Everyone on earth is made in God's image and deeply loved. Abraham is proof that God's blessings are not always wrapped in simplicity, arriving in cushy callings or delivered in pristine packages with a ribbon around the box. The death of Jesus Christ on the cross is another example of how blessings are not always neat or even palatable, he noted. Bible verse of the week, Jesus taught what fulfillment of the law actually means, says faith leader. Through his sinless blood that was shed, he accomplished the forgiveness of sins for anyone who is ready to receive the love of God, said Bradley. Pastor Bradley of Auburn, Washington, shown at left, told Fox News Digital that Abraham and Sarah's embrace of their blessings impacted the world. Pastor Bradley of Auburn, Washington, shown at left, told Fox News Digital that Abraham and Sarah's embrace of their blessings impacted the world. Pastor Jesse Bradley slash iStock for Abraham, his blessings would move him into a posture of full reliance, which is the very best way to travel. Bradley continued, Abraham and Sarah chose to walk by faith, united together with courage and conviction. This journey, designed by God, would be far more glorious than anything he could plan. What is Lent and the Lenten season and how do Christians observe the time before Easter Sunday? As a result of this journey, along with God's blessings, Abraham's descendants would become more numerous than the grains of sand on the beach and stars in the sky, noted Bradley. God was leading Abraham and Sarah to a new land, which would ultimately result in blessings being showered on all people. The blessings of God transform lives, he said. People should take time and slow down in order to realize their blessings, even if those blessings may not be what they expected, said Pastor Bradley. People should take time and slow down in order to realize their blessings, even if those blessings may not be what they expected, said Pastor Bradley. I stock. God, out of love for humanity, had a plan from the beginning of time to bless the entire world, said Bradley. It would be too small of a vision to only bless the Israelites, he said, noting that other Bible verses affirm that people of different nations and cultures are in heaven. You are blessed to be a blessing. Love includes sacrifice and blessings have a cost, said Bradley. Jesus covers the full expense, he said. Everyone on earth is made in God's image and deeply loved. All good things come from God and all humanity is loved by God, said Pastor Bradley of Washington during this Lenten season. All good things come from God and all humanity is loved by God, said Pastor Bradley of Washington during this Lenten season. I stock.
All good things come from God, explained Bradley a critical concept that is often lost in the hustle and bustle of everyday life. It is wise to take time during the day to slow down, step off the racing treadmill, take a break from the endless list of things to do and stop chasing what cannot truly satisfy, he said. One should seek to draw near to God and listen to the voice that matters. Bradley also said, Jesus offers a relationship that is overflowing with living water for the soul, and you can receive the daily direction and affirmation you need to proceed. He added, You are blessed to be a blessing. May the blessings of God increase our generosity where we live, work, learn and play, he said.